now? Why? Com- comedy is like it's, it could be a little high schoolish. You know what I'm saying? It but, it could be anything, a little high schoolish. But anything can be. It can. High schoolers. That's why I had to get off Clubhouse comedy rooms. I hate Clubhouse. Man. Like, I had to. With st- all respect, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and piggyback <laughs> off of you. I, I hear what you're saying. I'm not going to boast because I ain't come up here to tell y'all about myself. But I have been on and I have done. And I have also done. Anyway, so I'm after I spoke for 40 minutes and told y'all what I did, even though I said I wasn't going to come here and tell y'all what I did, I'm going to go ahead and mute myself so I can let my other brother and sister come on here and not tell you what she did do, even though she told you that she wasn't going to tell you that she did do it. Thank you, everybody. Have a blessed day. With all due respect. <laughs> I, that's why I can't be. I had to start following <laughs> other people on Clubhouse. Cause boy. I got off. I got off. I got on a Clubhouse once a week. Really? I can't. That's that's all I got. <laughs> you come into. You know what I hate? A room where they invite you into and you raise your hand and be like, the moderators is coming. I'm like, bitch, what you want me in here for? <laughs> I got some shit to say too. <laughs> Oh, I, I don't like Clubhouse. They mute you. They fucking. You'll say something. I was in some girl room and she was talking about how. Uh, she was saying how when she dates a man, he needs to take care of her, and what men provide in the beginning of a relationship. She was just saying all these things men had to do for her. I'm like, what you doing for him? Mm. And she was like, what you mean? I said, men need the same thing that we need. So you mean to tell me that you got? She was lying. She was like, she got a dude. She got different dudes paying all her bills, and she ain't fucking none of them. <laughs> as soon as I came on, I was like, you know, you lying, right? Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. ain't no way. She's talking about something. I'm waiting for marriage, for sex. I'm like, so you got six different dudes. They all know about each other from what she's saying, paying your bills, and you ain't smashing. None of them smashing. And she was like, no, because they got to take care of me first. I said, but what you giving them? I don't start acting like a wife until I become a wife. I was like, well, how does he even know you a wife if you don't act like a wife? Like, I hate when women have this idea of I'll act like a wife when he makes me a wife. But you got to show you a wife before he makes you a wife. Right. You know, there's little tiny things that you have to do for him to even see that quality in you. Just like there's little tiny things that he has to do for you to even see that quality in him. And she was just being like so bullshit. She was just bullshitting. And the bitch mute me and send me back to the audience. <laughs> 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 She's like, you know what, bitch, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I know that's how she pressed it. I know Damn. she said, bitch. <laughs> She's like, you know what? Fuck this. Fuck you, <laughs> That's why ass. Kevin Samuels yeah. is so needed. Kevin Samuels is so needed. No. He is so needed. No, that's I, why I don't that's believe why that. Kevin Samuels is so needed. I don't believe he this is the thing with Kevin Samuels. <laughs> I think that the things that Kevin Samuels says is true. But as an expert and an image consultant and a life skills coach, I think he needs to recognize when women aren't mentally stable. Mm. And when a woman calls you with all of these things, these things that she's stating that she wants and what she believes that she should have, and it's unrealistic, you have to be able to sense the instability in her. And a lot of the things that he says to these women or just not even that he says what he forces them to see in themselves. When somebody's mentally unstable, like I never want to be responsible for why somebody commits suicide. Mm -hmm. You know, you become responsible for that. Or a part of it when you don't know how to speak. Like, I just feel like he, and, and my, me and my boyfriend go through this all the time because he's a certified life skills coach. And he says, I don't understand why men have to be extra nice when what we say to women. And I'm like, because y'all admit all the time that we emotional. So you can't always be like, women are emotional, women are emotional, y'all too emotional. And then when it comes time for you to speak to us in a way that you already know how we are, it's too much work for you. So I got to be extra nice. That's like when I said, how do you tell your woman she gained weight? And he was like, there's no nice way. I said, there's a nice way. And he was like, why can't we just tell you that you gained weight? I said, because it's going to offend us. And he said, but why would it offend you if if it's the truth? And I said, because you know we emotional. Mm. Like you already have what you need to get to where you need to be, and you gonna still say fuck how you feel, even though I know you're gonna be emotional, and just be like, hey bitch, go to the gym. Like, <laughs> there's a nice way to tell me I gain weight. You know, you could be like, not a nice way, but there's a sip. Like you could soft be, way. Yes. Yeah, yeah. But he would just be like, well, why we gotta soften things up for women? I said, like, you don't have to, but you know that we are emotional. You know that. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's, it's walking on eggshells when, and Kevin when it's Samuels talking. Samuels is like Kevin. That, Kevin, no chaser. That nigga be like, so this, is the, but he got a dude too. He said, so let me get this straight. You are twenty years old. You weigh three hundred pounds. <laughs> 
You make four hundred dollars every two weeks. Do you got a big dick? Do you got a big dick? <laughs> he was like, I mean, I don't know. I be looking at people dick like that. He was like, How you not know? Yeah. How you not know if you got a big dick? I know I got a big dick. You don't know if you got a big dick. You don't know. Then he said, You don't got a big dick. Yeah. <laughs> so what women get from you? They don't get money. You live at home with your mama, and they don't even get a big dick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think I think men can handle that to their ego. I mean, not to their ego, just to who they are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Telling that exact same thing like that to a woman is very, very detrimental to me. Because, again, as most men would say, y'all emotional. So you know we emotional. And any woman that doesn't know that the status of her life, plus how much she makes, what the amount of kids that she has, she know whether she's cute or not. I just think this mental instability. That's yeah. like the girl that was on there and she was like, I think I'm a, I would never rate myself a, a six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me be on Kevin's. Then they're going to be like, what you rate yourself? A nine, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> How much you weigh? Over 200 pounds. Yeah. So you over 200 pounds. Yup. <laughs> and you got three kids. Yup. <laughs> and you make six. Yup. <laughs> and you rate yourself a nine. And a half, bitch, since you want to be funny. <laughs> and a half. The fuck? <laughs> And uh, me, I would never second guess what I think about myself. Right. I, I mean, I'm a five without makeup and a six with makeup. Nigga, I'm a nine. <laughs> but those women who who are calling are and a half. <laughs> those women who are calling just have low <laughs> self esteem anyway. I, I you know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> yeah. ain't no way in the world, ain't no way in the world, I would call Kevin to get. Like relationship advice, especially if I know what I look like. But it's not relationship; it's image. He's telling you what your because he's an image consultant, and he's telling you what what part your image plays and what you're asking for. Mm. Because the reality of it is, and women argue with me about this, men are physical beings. Right. They like to look at you first. Right. They like to see what they like to because before you talk to me, you want to see me. Right. And then you're going to assess me with your eyes. And a lot of women be like, I don't like the, f-. but bitch, it's what it is. It's been like that forever. It's what it is. And then once I see you with my eyes, we'll assess everything else. And when you calling him for image consultant, he's gonna fuck. He gonna he gotta know what your image is. What's your image? What you look like? Mm-hmm. What's your size? Mm-hmm. Um, what's your you know? Like when somebody asked me if he went on there, he asked you your size. Would you you know? Would you tell him? I said, tell him two hundred plus pounds. And what's your size? You know, uh, my size is thirty six. What's my size? 36, 32, 45. Like, that's my size. I'm not ashamed of who I am because I'm a fucking beautiful woman. Right. But I also know what I can and cannot do. And a lot of these women are just unrealistic. And I think when you're that unrealistic, it's because you are mentally unstable. unstable. 